Dopoki is a popular Korean street food that is made of rice cakes and a spicy stew. Here are a few things you will need before you begin. Once you have all the ingredients and have completed any prep you can, press start and we can begin cooking. This food in particular is one of my favorite comfort foods that my mom would make. Or sometimes we'll even go to a Korean fast food place to go get some. It's chewy and satisfying, but it's also super spicy if you want it to be. But my mom and I, we like to eat topoki that makes our noses run. Traditionally, it was actually a milder food that was served to mainly the noble class. But as times have progressed, topoki has become a popular street food, and people in Korea have created extremely spicy versions. I realize now that because I don't live at home anymore, I'm always craving my mom's comfort food. And not just the food itself, I really miss watching her cook or even cooking with her sometimes. It's so tiring to cook after a long day and no one wants to hug or chat with. I've been extremely homesick here while it's cool in New York recently. I call my mom all the time to tell her how much I miss her cooking, but I think she knows that I'm actually talking about her also, not just her food. Um, she called me today to tell me she shipped me a box of instant dopoki, and we both know the instant version is not great. But I think she knows that dopoki is my comfort food and even from across the country she tries to comfort me. I've had my share fair of cafeteria encounters and jokes made towards me, but I want to discuss some of the experiences my mom has had. As an immigrant, she had to adjust to a new set of cultural norms and rules in her adulthood. Food is one of those things she held on to from Korea. She learned to cook from her mom, my harmony, and has always cooked Korean food for my family. Because she married into a white family, my mom has faced lots of adversity throughout her life. While I love my American grandparents, they struggle to understand people who are different from them. Growing up, I would hear them call her food smelly or disgusting, and it was obvious how disheartening this was to my mom because she loves to cook her food for other people. As I've grown older, I've learned the power of food in our culture and family. It's important to me to learn about and cherish these foods because they represent love for my mom and harmony. Food is such a powerful way to bridge cultures, especially in America. So I'm so glad we got to cook together today, and I hope you can taste the love in this food that you've created.